So the term advanced care paramedic is, um, I suppose, I, I would define it as the industry standard for healthcare pre-hospital. Um, so if you were to go from a scale of one to 10 with skill set and scope of practice, advanced care is actually only about five or six out of 10 for possible scope levels. Um, and I put it there because uh, LaRue is an extended scope of practice, so a few extra drugs and skills and stuff. But then you've got the critical care paramedic, which is higher again, and uh, they do even more advanced airways and, and procedures. But then above then, you've got the high acuity, which is the, um, or they, they give blood and, and do um, rapid sequence induction and um, things like that for um, patients who are um, literally on the brink of death. Um, and then you've got the flight paramedics who do all of that and have the doctors on board and, and they do infusions and, and, and long flight transports and, and um, go pick them up from the car wrecks out at that Warwick and all that and bring them straight into the Royal. So when you consider all those higher levels, advanced care paramedics, I'm actually level two. So the standard is level two. 20 years ago, you were just a paramedic and then they'd introduce advanced care. Uh, and then they, the, the standard paramedic, uh, you probably hear the word Charlie officer because Charlie, you've got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. Mm. Alpha is the critical care, Bravo is the standard advanced care. Charlie is the, the lower level that used to be standard that haven't upgraded. Then they introduced level two advanced care, which is um, so refining of um, certain pain reliefs or uh, other things like cannulation they have increased. So um, I trained always into advanced care and then level two, everyone leveled up. But then anything beyond that is, is a special training program uh, wow. to, um, to progress into other areas. So any, any time you met with a crew uh, on road, the odds are you'll be at, at least have one advanced care level two paramedic, but we just call them advanced care paramedics. And then there's not almost always a second officer of the same level, but most cases now you've got... Um, graduate paramedics who have come out through the, the degree um, and we call them GPIPs, which stands for Graduate Paramedic Induction Program. It's a one-year full-time on road where they consolidate their learning in a full-time capacity um, to get that one year's experience and, and just to consolidate. And after that, they do a final assessment to uh, qualify as an independent practitioner of the, the scope of practice. And then they are ACP level two. Um, most people from there go to, a, um, if there's no opportunities for permanent employment, they go into a casual pool where you're a casual officer and work on demand. And um, But whenever you called in to shift, you are an independent um, clinician able to work as a, as a single officer, un, 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 unsupervised, uh, or even have a student. And um, so that that's the sort of the, the range of the scope. I hope I explain, explained that. So anyone below oh, yeah. that, ACP is like a patient transport officer or a Charlie officer, one stripe as opposed to two stripes, um, or just someone who's like a first responder or maybe even in comms with the first aid certificate. <laughs>